Class 10, Lesson Number 1. The name of lesson, Father's Help. Writer by R. K. Narayan. So let's start this lesson. Lying in bed, Sami realized with a shudder that it was Monday morning. It looked as though only a moment ago it was Friday. Already Monday was here. He hoped he did not have to go to school. At 9 o'clock, Sami Nathan well, I have a headache. Mother generously suggested that Sami must stay at home at 9.30 when he ought to have been in the school prayer hall. Sami was lying on the bench in mother's room. Father asked him, Have you no school today? Headache, Sami replied. Nonsense, dress up and go. Headache, love abound. Lays on Sundays and he will be without a headache on Monday, Sami knew how strict his father could be, so he changed his tactics. I can't go so late to the class. You will have to. It is your own fault. What will the teacher think if I go so late? Tell him you had a headache and so are late. He will scold me if I say so, will he? Let us see. What is his name? Samuel. Does he always scold the students? He is a very angry man. He is especially angry with boys who come in late. I would not like to go late to Samuel's class. If he is so hungry, what not tell your headmaster about it? They say that even the headmaster is afraid of him. Sami hoped that with this his father would be made to see why he must avoid school for the day. But father's behavior took an unexpected turn. He proposed to send a letter with Sami to the headmaster. No amount if protest from Sami would make him change his mind. By the time Sami was ready to leave for school, father had composed a long letter to the headmaster. He put it in an involved and sell it. What have you written, father? Sami asked apprehensively. Nothing for you. Give it to your headmaster and go to your class. Have you written anything about our teacher Samuel? Yes. Plenty of things. What has he done, father? Everything is there in the letter. Give it to your headmaster. Sami went to school feeling that he was the worst boy on earth. His conscience bothered him. He was not at or sure if his description of Samuel had been accurate. He felt he had mixed up the real and the imagined. Sami stopped on the roadside to make up his mind about Samuel. Samuel was not such a bad man after all. Personally, he was much more friendly than the other teachers. Sami also felt Samuel had a special regard for him. Sami's head was dizzy with confusion. 
he could not decide if Samuel really deserved he, the allegations made against him in the letter. The more he thought of Samuel, the more some gift for him to recall Samuel's dark face, his thin moustache, and seven cheek and yellow coat filled Saminathan with sorrow. As he entered the school gate, an idea occurred to him. He would deliver the letter to the headmaster at the end of the day. There was a chance Samuel might do something during the course of the day to justify the letter. Some stood at the entrance to his class. Samuel was teaching arithmetic. He looked at Sami. Sami hoped Samuel would scold him severely. You are half an hour late, Samuel said. I have a headache, said Sami said. Then why did you come at all? This was an unexpected question from Samuel. Sami said, My father said I should not miss school, sir. Samuel looked impressed. Your father is quite right. It want more parents like him. Oh, you poor man, Sami thought. You don't know what my father has done to you. All right, go to your seat. Sami sat down, feeling sad. He had never met anyone as good as Samuel. The teacher was inspect, inspecting the home lesson to Sami's thinking. This was the time when Samuel got most angry. But today Samuel appeared very gentle. Sami Nathan, where is your homework? I have not done my homework, sir, Sami said. White headache, asked Samuel. Yes, sir. All right, sit down, Samuel said. When the bell rang for the last period at 4.30, Sami picked up his books and ran to the headmaster room. He found the room locked. The peon told him the headmaster had gone on a week's leave. Sami Nathan ran away from the place. As soon as he entered home with the letter, father said, I knew you would not deliver it, but the headmaster is on leave, Sami said. Father stretched the letter away from Sami and tore it up. Don't ever come to me for help if Samuel scold you again. You deserve your Samuel, he said.